uh, clearly at the moment you can't uh, uh, avoid uh, looking at the way in which the Sun TV stock has fallen 25% down at this point in time almost 26 25 point six uh, 91 and a half rupees down uh, that's a big fall for a big stock like that uh, and uh, the reason clearly is because the Ministry of Home Affairs has denied security clearance to 33 channels of the company after the Ministry of Home Affairs the, uh, uh, the permission now goes to the INB ministry which would normally toe the line of uh, uh, the uh, uh, Home Ministry uh, to check out what are the options that the company has if this indeed were to be the case and the INB ministry denies them licenses to go on air. Uh, Mr. S. L. Narayan Group, CFO Sun Group joins us. Uh, Mr. Narayan, uh, it's almost inevitable that uh, INB ministry will tow the Home Ministry's line. Uh, what are the options before you? Do we actually face the prospect of the channels going off air? Uh, morning, Lata. Thanks for giving us this opportunity. Uh, I want to make a very uh, a simple, you know, uh, contravention to your point, mm. uh, because recently we did have a, a situation where uh, the Ministry for mm. Home Affairs did not uh, give the security clearance for our radio business, some of the radio stations. And we understand that the Ministry of INB has written to the Ministry of Home Affairs okay. uh, requesting them to reconsider that decision and recommending issue of the security clearances. Uh, I mean, I'm not supposed to be knowing this, but we understand this from the verbal averments that were made by the Council for Government of India before the Madras High Court. Mm. So uh, uh, I would imagine that uh, Ministry of INB may not necessarily toe the line. Oh. Okay, uh, Ms. Narayan, good morning. Uh, have you received any notification from the Home Ministry? None at all. Okay, no correspondence at all on this issue? None at all. I mean, I, my uh, source of information is your source as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like somebody in the Ministry has spoken to the reporter uh, from Economic Times mm -hmm. who called me on Friday night and uh, asked me for my comment. I said that I'm completely <laughs> taken aback by this news. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just mentioned to him that uh, we've done nothing wrong. Sun TV is a household name in South India and wherever South Indians live all over the world. We've done nothing wrong. And uh, we should not be put out of business because there is a pending investigation in some other part of the group. Okay, uh, Mr. Narayan, you must have already spoken to your lawyers. Uh, what is, uh, uh, you know, your, the company's position? Uh, how much time may you have if uh, uh, the licenses are actually revoked? Uh, uh, I do believe that, uh, you know, we will not come to that stage because uh, it, it, it seems to me that, you know, this may well be a vicious rumor. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. But uh, let's assume that uh, we do reach a point where uh, something like that, I mean, God forbid it, it'll be an Armageddon event. Mm. Uh, uh, but if we do come to that stage, I do believe that there are uh, sufficient recourses for us to get protected because at the end of the day, I don't think anybody can be condemned without giving a fair hearing. I, I, I still believe that some very sound democratic institutions are alive in this country. So we will get the protection from the appropriate courts. Okay. Like we got in the case of the FM radio. Okay, so just to understand this, um, if the MHA has actually denied clearance to your channels, uh, as the reports suggest, uh, when, in, in terms of a timeline, when do you expect a renewal of your clearances? Uh, Sonia, uh, the point here is, uh, you know, it's, it's slightly more evolved than what is just made out in that article because the licenses are uh, issued on a 10 yearly basis. Mm -hmm. Most of our channels have been recently renewed and, and they expire sometime in 2021. Ooh. And a few of our channels go all the way up to 2023. Mm -hmm. So it's not an yearly affair. Uh, they, these get renewed on uh, a 10 yearly basis. Okay. So How many channels? It's not like, you know, something is pending before the government. Okay, at the moment, uh, at the moment, is no license at all pending before the government? I mean, to what could the uh, MHA be responding, the Ministry of Home Affairs? Uh, 
Is it just a Suomoto uh, decision to pull them off air? Uh, that's that's what that article seems to suggest, which is why I was also taken aback, because okay. uh, nothing is pending before the Ministry of Home Affairs at this time. Okay, so at the moment uh, you have security clearances for the uh, ten years, right, for most of your channels. That's right. Okay, uh, so at this point in time, there's no risk of your broadcasting license being cancelled at all. I would like to believe that, <laughs> okay. uh, but uh, you know, uh, I, I, I can't say with uh, any conviction at this point in time because I don't have any knowledge of what transpired mm -hmm. uh, on Friday between the two ministries. My source of information is what the reporter wrote in Economic Times. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll have to wait and see if indeed uh, something mm -hmm. as uh, dramatic as this is going to unfold today. I hope not. Mm -hmm. I pray to God it doesn't happen. Uh, uh, but in the event it is, uh, uh, it, is you, it, it would be challenged in court by you. Yeah, yeah, obviously. We'll go straight to the court and uh, we will, because uh, let me make one point very clear, Lata. We are not the only channel which is under investigation. I don't want to name names mm -hmm. and get into any kind of, uh, you know, bad blood with my colleagues in the industry. Every channel has got something or the other which is in uh, progress in various courts of law. Mm -hmm. So mere uh, pendency of uh, litigation uh, cannot give rise to cancellation of the broadcasting license. Yeah. End of the day, uh, you know, it is quite possible that at the end of the proceedings, we will come out completely acquitted with our head held high. Okay. I still believe that we did nothing wrong in Sun Direct. Mr. Narayan, uh, just one final question before we let you go. In case, God forbid, uh, the clearance is denied. How much uh, of your um, profits actually uh, come from these 33 channels? I mean, for example, uh, you earned about 800 crores of profits in FY15. How much of it came from these channels? All of it. <laughs> okay, the entire. Okay, this is your entire Something basket. Is basically, these 33 channels. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks uh, for joining us and uh, giving us that clarification. Uh, hopefully, uh, when we get more clarity on what the situation is, we'll touch base with you once again. Well, that's the word coming in from Sun TV. The stock is still down about 26-odd percent. Not too much by way of clarity coming in from the management itself.